Hello. And welcome. 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 I feel like we've twisted the camera a bit. We're a little bit far over here. Maybe I just need to stand over here. I don't know. I feel like I've twisted. Don't get it twisted. Oh, yeah. maybe it was like this before. That feels right. I don't know. New new camera meta. Let's get a solo challenge going. 12 generations. Let's go prelude back on. I was really enjoying the prelude. I played a competitive game the other night. It's a lot of fun. And look at this. Phobolog, titanium, titanium production, even a little bit of metal. What could go wrong? Uh, what could go wrong is not getting any cards worth playing. What was what was the Chengxing looking like? Also, I can probably turn this up. It's probably too loud, but like... Honestly, Chengxing is probably better. We lose some income. We get some heat income. We get some energy income. We have a couple extra things for fun. Chengxing is just a little bit stronger. And I think we grab one of these crap preludes just because... It's like 12 generations, 12 productions, that's fine. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, I mean, getting an early city would let us get this three-card spot. But, like, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. This is good, this is good, this is good. Um, and then, like, as always, I want to say, like, what if? What if we got a bunch of oceans early and played Nitrolithic Moss? Wouldn't that be cool? But, like, we can't. Like, there's just no way. We can. We can't. $24 will have enough money to play nuclear power and the heat production, but not the geothermal. Let's just play it. It's fine. Look, society support, molehole excavation. You know what I haven't played in forever? Have we played Manutech? Is Manutech in the game? Or is that in the next season? I think Manutech's in the next one. Vitor was in this one. And so is Point Luna, the other two strong co companies. Now, I could get these instead of these. Could also get card draw, but I think we should wait on that until we get, like, some benefits. And this maintains our income for a turn, so I kind of like this. Um, more building tags. Absolutely grand. Look at that. We already got a heat bump. Whew. Whew. Underground City's cool, but what about, like, Industrial Microbes instead? I mean, Underground City's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Honestly, it's cool enough. We have enough building tags. If we play this for steel, we don't get anything right away, but we're in a good spot for next turn. That's really good. That's some really good cheese. We have energy cards, too. Don't you forget it. Don't get it twisted. We have five steel coming in right now. Oh. So energy, and then energy, and then next turn, we might even be able to get the strip mine. We're down to zero income, but we got two TR. Uh, we have a lot of energy and heat production and rover construction and space events. And, I mean, if we're not going to play anything this generation anyway, we may as well grab the grass. Because none of this is getting played. And we're going to wait till we're at 5% oxygen to play as many space events as we can. Oh my god. We're not doing 63 TR, so we'll just grab these. Martian Survey? Like, I feel like I already have all the good cards, but I guess it's fine. What if we get money back on, like, events, right? We'd be kicking ourselves for not having grabbed this stuff. And then, like, our production. Oh! It's in such a good spot. And this technology demonstration, look how great we are for waiting. Now we have optimal. Oh my lordy. And like the oxygen is coming up pretty quick. Quantum extractor, titanium. And do we need a science tag? We sure do. Holy jeebus. I mean, how many? We need four science tags. It's kind of hard. We've got, like, them in our hand. We've got all four. But, like, they're not cheap. Also, I'm going to play Rover Construction before I mess that up. And then we have enough steel left over. We're going to get our titanium production. And then... We're going to do this... Oh, 
We don't have the oxygen up yet, but that's fine. We're gonna do some steel back, or some titanium back. Uh, and that was gonna give me something, I thought, but I guess it's not. It's just gonna get us an energy. It's fine, it's fine. It's not what I actually meant to do. Now, that's good, that's good. This is, it's all good. It's just a problem of like, what can we actually play? Now, I know we have that steel and heat production. So let's do that, do this, steel and two heat, very powerful. Also a ton of metals, but we already have a lot of metals, so that could run out of value in a hurry. Do we have plant tags? No. How many science tags? Two. Can we get the amount that we want to have? No. Inventors Guild. Let's take a peek. Space Station. Absolutely. I wish I had done that first. But yeah, now we get the uh, sponsors. And it's fine because, look, we're going to play Quantum and then Space Station. We're going to have $4 off everything. This is going to cost 3 and this is going to cost 1 And if we can get this bad boy down because we're going to be so close on oxygen. We're not actually close enough yet, but what if we got another thing that bumped it? Are we going for plant tags? I mean, we played with Prelude, so we only have till Gen 12. Things to do with Steel are good. But otherwise, let's let's leave it on the table. Um, okay, a science tag. Yes. A science tag. Not enough money. Not enough money. Are you kidding me? Come on. Um, it's a good time to play grass, honestly. To be honest. It's fine. Next turn. Next turn is going to be so great. Everyone's going to be jealous. Science. A space thing. Placement. Look at a card. We don't need that, thankfully. Mining rights. We need some titanium with that. We're going to overspend in steel to get two titanium. We already have enough for quantum, so we're going to play it. We have enough for space station. We have enough for optimal. And this is 5% oxygen. I mean, it's fine. Look, we play this. Boom, baby. Space elevator. Don't mind if I do. I think we don't have to overpay anymore. Um, honestly, while we're here, we probably should do the card draw. Cool, cool. Now, a couple of heat bumps later. Then, let's go get some plants right here. Again, we're going to get a bunch of heat back and plants, which is great. The plants is going to give us a card. Noctis City, something to do with our steel. Symbiotic Fungus is interesting, but I don't know that we have anything for that. Remember, we keep getting money or money and heat back for playing this stuff. Um, I don't hate a city here, but I'd rather have a city with more adjacency potential. The neutral greeneries are in pretty terrible spots. Um, but yeah, Noctis City seems like a no-brainer. Perhaps here and just build off the waters. And if we can get another city, we might put it for the three-card spot. Um, oh yeah, we had rovers. We don't need this nuke anymore. Absolutely not. We do want plant tags. We have one pretty easy, and we need another ocean for the other ones, which let's save up our money and play that event. Open city and then things to do with our steel. We only have two production, so let's not get the mine. So heat bumps. Restricted area, very good. Um, we need plant tags. To get the plant tags, we're going to throw down some water. Um, and if I throw the water down here... Everybody loves that. That goes here. E 
ecological zone 12 bucks goes there we now have not enough plants oh we have enough for research coordination which is actually a little bit tragic because we don't have enough for nitrogen we're short and we have all this steel wow all right let's do a card draw first then oh my god anti-grav we're two away wild tag anti-grav that's now free free is the right price Symbiotic fungus sounds cool, but we don't have any symbiosis. We just got anti-grav. Like, that's sick. Earth office, immigrant city. Yes. I don't think we need the nuke. I really do not. We have quite a few oceans. Let's do our clicky click, sell steel. And this is going well so far. Sacrifiles, minus 20. Uh, we are not in range for that. No siree. All right, this is good. We spend a titanium heat bump. So we're gonna have at least two heat bumps and then this one. So we're already good on heat. So what's the benefit of playing this? Well, getting four plants, money and heat back, which again, the money's back is nice, but not required but the four plants seems pretty good it's not actually that good anymore but the two tr as well right so we actually have enough plant tags to play it we need so many plants though like that's the real rub what's the rub that could be a city that's actually a great idea so mangrove here then city overpaying and we need we need oxygen it's not lost on me this is gonna help let's um let's get two cards first and i didn't actually do restricted area it turns out i'm sorry i didn't mean to be that one that grabs too much i thought we needed the, the science tag turned out we did not so this is five income for seven dollars it's pretty hot and we could still play restricted area it would be two card draw at this point plus we get adjacencies probably just grab adjacency for money i'm looking at that card but well no the card is what may or may not save us so that's actually really good considering that we're gonna get the money back and stuff so, Field Dome, I could have used my Steel. Ugh, we have a lot of cards we don't need, though. The Open City will be helpful, though. We can put that down somewhere nice. Using all our Steel, it'll give us plants, it'll give us placement, it'll give us money back because of Rovers. We have a lot of Oxygen to go, but we also have Standard Technology and 14 Plant Income. Which, I mean, isn't that great, but it's fine. We can do Heather... Yeah, I mean, we could have done the Electro Catapult, but for one turn, it doesn't really make sense. I would love one point animals. I would love it. Look, 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 like nitrogen and stuff. But like, no, we just cannot. We need to like not lose. Um, and that in itself is like a stretch. Like we're pushing to be not losers, you know? Don't you forget it. Like, I'm actually looking at the nuke and thinking, like, it might be worth playing the nuke to lose two points if it means that we're going to get a greenery. We don't even have the oceans, though. Like, what the heck am I smoking? We have nothing. Are there cards that we can draw down here? Do we lose if we don't draw that card? Like, almost, almost certainly? Let's do an aquifer first up here. That did not help. We are boned. Trees. Great. 
Um, I can get more steel, and I can get a titanium with these water placements. Doesn't seem that uh, they don't seem that good. Um, I can buy two greeneries really quick, but then we'd be out of money. The hell was I thinking this run? Like this is good. And then like that's good. And then that gives us enough. No, open city's twelve. Holy Jeebus. We're so bad. Like I, I keep saying we're. You're not it's not your fault. Dear viewer. It's it's I'm bad, not you. Uh, but I mean, like, hackers, heat trappers, predators, trees in the last turn. I mean, like, we weren't set up for success. Now, were we? I mean, like, literally. Like, literally. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, and, like... We're still short so many plants that, like, I can't... Well, I can't even. Not to mention, even if we had the plants we needed, we absolutely would not have... Um, we would not have the oceans. Like, three oceans. Like, I'm pretty sure we bought every ocean card that came up. Yeah, yeah, there's the four oceans. And then we got a free one and a standard project. I don't think we had a prelude for oceans. I don't know, maybe maybe one came up, but I really don't remember it. Um, this is... One, two... We need to get this to 24. Right. Because it's at 19. And if they put two down, that would get to 21. And then I'd want to put another one down. And if we sold a card and bought trees, that would get us another greenery. And another greenery is actually worth two points. So it would be worth three points total and not just two or a one and a not enough. Now, what about this though? Two plants. Um, I mean, we're at 29 plus two, it's not enough. So yeah, let's just sell for trees. I mean, it would have been great to do the ecological zone. I can't play either of these, then that. We don't have a heat bump. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, honestly, in terms of points, not too bad, right? We got all those science tags played and stuff. Like we broke a hundred. So did we terraform the planet? Did we um, score over a hundred points? Yes. Did we get 63 TR? So uh, one out of three and we didn't hit the mandatory one. So not great, not great. But like, honestly, what was it about the run that was bad? We had pretty weak starting cards, so we chose the weaker prelude to double down on getting a meager amount of plants and a meager amount of steel and heat. The heat was what was coming in. The steel was making it work for us. We got that early um, city down here and we got lots of energy cards. Was it just over investment in the heat track? Or like... And then it was pretty slow because we got all those discounts on space, but we had to wait a couple of turns. And then we got the nitrogen rich like asteroid late. Like maybe if we had picked a lane, we would have been better. But I when I didn't have enough to play nitrolithic asteroid. So I think getting anti-grav was worth it. We definitely played seven cards after playing anti-grav for the $14 back. So like that was worth it. We got all that plant income and stuff from, like, insects and stuff. So, like, we did pretty good there. 
right? We didn't get bushes. We didn't get algae. We didn't get lichen. We didn't get a lot of the plant cards. I actually feel like we grabbed most of the plant cards that came up. So, like, we didn't get that much plant production. We didn't get any ox gang. How were we supposed to heat the planet? Or not heat the planet, but oxygen, oxygen the planet. Well, honestly, we had standard project. We have standard technology, so we just needed income. But we actually didn't get that much income. We got our cities pretty late. I don't know. Like, I feel like it was just, like, a run that was actually set up for a decent amount of success. If we had hit some really big cards, you know, like a, a smoother transition into science. Um... Money back on events in particular would have been big. Uh, advanced alloys for all the metals that we were making would have been big. Um, I could have kept the TR for 8 heat. Like, I don't know. Like, there was... But even that would have been too slow. It would have been too late. So maybe it was just bad preludes because we took the bad one that's, like, lose a production to gain a plant, a steel, and a heat. Or whatever that one is. It's not. It's really not that hot. I don't know, but it wasn't a good Fobel log run either. So I think we made the best of a bad start. We hit some good um, cards on the river. You know, the midpoint. Like we were hitting the, uh, you know, two oxygen and a bunch of metal. We at the late game hit some science that was really good. Some discounts here and there. Money back on space events. Big big hit. Really brought us back into into range on this one. And then on the river, the last hands of cards, we just didn't get any terraforming cards. And quite frankly, we were waiting all game to get Lake Marineris for two oceans. Um, Arctic algae would have been good at some point. Any type of microbe thing. Though, though, I was done, and somebody probably already commented, uh, you looked over regolith eaters because... That could have had microbes on it, and that could have bumped the planet. But at the time I looked over it, I only had adapted, like, microbe thing to put one microbe on it. The three microbe card we got later, imported nitrogen, um, was later. Like, I didn't know that that card existed until after the draw phase. So, like, I couldn't have planned around it. And, I, like, this is what kills me. This is what kills me. People that say, if you had bought this card, you would have done better because X, Y, Z. But then the other half of people tell me, why are you buying so many cards? If you don't buy cards, you can play them and you're better. And it's like, you gotta, I don't know the future. So I have to buy cards to put lines in the water like a fisherman. But every line costs me a reel. And if they all hit, I can't reel them all in because I've spent so much time putting out the lines. So, like, I have to make a call and pick a lane. And quite frankly, I think we were a little bit too far behind to begin with. Like, we needed, like, a big income card sooner. I'm sure somebody's going to point out some mistakes that have been made. And I'm, I'm okay with that, for sure. Tell me where the mistakes were, if I can gain a point here or there. Or if you disagree with an engine card that I played midway through, maybe I should have prioritized differently. But you never know what's coming the next turn. You never know. Right? So, anyways, I think that was a fair run. I think that we did pretty good. Um, you know, we just, we didn't hit. We relied in the heart of the cards instead of stopping our play halfway through to play standard projects. Uh, but if we had done that, we would have scored less than 100 points. Because even with our aggressive play, we only got to 102. So, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.